Good morning. My name is Dan Malmstrom. I'm from Douglas Scientific in Alexandria, Minnesota. It's a distinct uh, privilege and pleasure to be here this morning among the 10 companies being featured in the nanotechnology showcase here at Medtronic's headquarters. I understand that each company has about 10 minutes to be profiled, and I know I've got a lot of content to cover in a short period of time, so we better rock and roll. Douglas Scientific is a wholly owned subsidiary of Douglas Machine Corporation in Alexandria, Minnesota. Our parent company has been around since 1964 and is a worldwide leader in developing automated packaging equipment for some of the consumer brand names that you'll all recognize, you know, Kraft, Procter & Gamble, Coke, Pepsi, Frito-Lay. Uh, it's been around and it's, it's a very successful company. But unlike our parent company, Douglas Scientific is focused in a different marketplace. We're in biosciences in the high throughput laboratory screening market. What we do is essentially we dispense DNA, biofluidics, materials, and compounds into a patented substrate called a ray tape. And I've got to tell you this morning that we haven't entered the field of play any too soon given the trends that are going to affect our world in the coming years. Take a look. So at the risk of uh, being an executive that sounds like we're a company uh, based on platitudes, I do need to stop and tell you that our entire team back in Alexandria, Minnesota is motivated by one primary objective, and that's to make the world a better place. Make no mistake, we don't do the science, but we are intent upon making our scientific clients more effective with our technology. How do we do that? We help them find better genes, better plants, all right, waterborne pathogens that might affect the world's food supply, bioterroristic threats. In fact, we believe that we will be able to uh, perform massive and, and rapid disease screening and discovery in the future. And those are the types of things that the array tape platform has the possibility to affect, some of which are actually enabled today. You know, in order to understand that, it's, it's important to do a brief history lesson, lesson on how discovery actually happens in the laboratories. You know, many, many years ago, decades ago, the standard of scientific discovery was really the test tube and, and slips underneath a microscope. And that changed because there was really a need to do higher volumes of screening and entered a media called the microtiter plate. And if you can see this, essentially a microtiter plate has 384 microliter level test tubes embedded in it. And what evolved over that time was a whole industry of automation to support this particular standard of media in the laboratories. That automation looks like robotics, automated and motion control um, devices that actually would move this um, particular uh, microtiter plate through the laboratory process. But what we're seeing right now is that this particular um, microtiter plate media has actually become an inhibitor. Given the increase of screening demand that's being projected by scientific laboratories, this will need to change. The cost per data point also associated with this is prohibitive from an automation standpoint as well. What's required? A shift, a disruptive paradigm shift. And enter Douglas Scientific. We have a patented media called array tape. And if you can imagine each one of those microtiter plates now being reduced down in size to nanoliter level volume in embossed wells on a continuous array tape platform, polypropylene, polycarbonate, polystyrene, or maybe any other polymer, we've actually devised a, a method and a media to conduct laboratory process at a much higher rate. This inline polypropylene tape has embossed wells, and each of these embossed wells has a very unique geometry to the scientific application that's done in the laboratories. It's flexible and low cost to be able to accomplish this. 
As I mentioned, Douglas Scientific also has developed a full line of instrumentation to support this array tape continuous platform. What you're seeing right here is something called, we call the Nexar, and you can see the reels of tape, which just literally have meters upon meters of those assays being, being uh, managed. This is an inline liquid handling and sample processing unit. We also have engineered and deployed a full line of scanners. This is called the Araya that does inline fluorescent detection. It excites the experiment within those wells and then captures the data and takes it out to full and sophisticated limb systems to do the data analysis. Well, let's take a brief look at how that works. So this is our system in a very brief video segment. You can see the Nexar is actually working with tape. And here, 384 pipettes are aspirating DNA compound, taking it back into the Nexar, dispensing it into those 384 wells on the tape. What you're going to see here is now another dispense head further down in line that's actually adding chemistries. Those might be markers, those might be compounds that are actually conducting the experiment in those wells. Everything's barcoded and captured on a per well basis. And here you can see that the tape is being sealed for offline processes such as incubation and PCR that may be done in the labs. This is the scanner. You can see the fluorescent lights are actually exciting what's in those wells, identifying markers, capturing the data, and importing and exporting it out to limb systems. I'd be remiss if I left it at the instrumentation alone. The most important thing I have to tell you about today is the disruptive outcomes that we're delivering around the world. I could take you through the detail in this slide, but I don't think we have time today. Suffice to say, look at the two conclusion points at the bottom of this slide. Our platform with array tape today has produced a tenfold throughput increase over the microtiter plate standard with array tape, while at the same time delivering a 90% cost reduction. Those are the kind of disruptive outcomes that will enable scientists to accomplish the discovery that they need to to address those world trends that you saw earlier in the presentation. Well, with that comes a lot of new challenges. Our scientists, uh, scientists and laboratory clients are asking us to be able to do more samples, to have more dynamic and variable inputs, to be able to do more within those wells. They're asking for less cost, being able to drive the fluid volumes in the DNA and chemistry samples down to lower volumes. And we're up for that and we're delivering that even as of today. What's most exciting about this, however, are the possibilities. Once our clients have seen what is, is possible in array tape and the cost reductions, they're coming up with a whole plethora of applications they want to do on array tape as well. In our labs right now, this is just a sampling of the type of applications we're working on and researching with our clients around the world. I have to tell you that um, as an industry leader, which we expect to be, we know that we can't be limited to what we think ourselves. And we are party to a consortium that is at the cutting edge of biofluidics technology. We're part of MF3, which is a microfluidics uh, consortium, which is essentially a trilogy of 17 universities in the United States with steeped scientists in biofluidics, 12 um, industry partners, of which we are a founding member of MF3, and the US Department of Defense. The objective is to be working on the most cutting edge biofluidics dispensing and media resources to accomplish and address all of those world trends that you saw a bit earlier in the presentation. Well, I can't talk to you about all of the things that we're working on out of MF3, but let me just highlight a few in, in brevity here today. One is the dispensing well plate. And you saw 384 pipettes dispensing into our, our Nexar and array tape. Well, that delivered a tenfold increase. We're working on another dispensing technology that will go 60-fold again, potentially, above our current technologies. This dispensing well plate, and you can see on this little slide here that's magnified 100 times, that we would use a reservoir, actuation, and capillary action to essentially push fluidics through a micro channel here, obviously very, very small, and through a port directly into our array tape and other media. And here's an animation that actually shows you how that would work. The pulsing action through the actuator would fill and refill those nozzles every 10 milliseconds, again, delivering the possibility of a 50 to 60 fold increase over our current dispensing technologies. Exciting. But one of the most important things and the exciting things that I think that we're working on is something that honestly and from a transparency standpoint we're, we're purely playing a supporting role on. H have any of you heard the name George Whitesides? I expected so. George Whitesides is the household name 
and he's an icon in the biosciences community. And today he is working on an objective. He wants to leave a legacy of driving disease diagnostic costs down to near zero in third world countries. And I think he's going to get it done. His concept is, use, is to use a paper and then potentially a paper and tape-based laminate to be able to do a multitude of disease diagnostics in one small sample of saliva of blood at a near zero cost. But rather than me telling you about George's gig, let, let's hear from him directly. What is the cheapest possible stuff that you could make a diagnostic system out of and get useful information, add function? And what we've chosen is paper. There's an example of the same thing on a finger showing you just basically what it looks like. One reason for using paper is that it's everywhere. And what you see in the lower right-hand side there is a sample in which a single sample of blood has been put on the top and it has gone through and distributed itself into these 16 holes on the bottom in a piece of paper. Each one of those spots then becomes a test for a particular set of markers of disease. It's, I think, as low cost as we're likely to be able to come up and make things. Again, Douglas Scientific, very privileged to be involved in, in, in a body of research like this with Dr. Whitesides. Exciting things happening in our company. You know, if you were to leave here today with just a few things in your mind about Douglas Scientific, I'd kind of boil it down to three. And they would, they, they would look like this. We are an emerging leader in the biosciences, biofluidics, high throughput screening marketplace. And we do it with some quantum innovation, with our own array tape, which is patented, dispensing well plate, paper diagnostics, and many other technologies and applications which are in our labs today. And you should really understand that our objective is to enable the very best scientists in the world to do their discovery at a more rapid pace, at lower cost, to affect those world trends that you heard about. Why? We're all about making your world a better place. It's been a pleasure talking with you today. Hopefully you've learned something about Douglas Scientific, and uh, I think you'll be hearing more from us in the future.